YouTube, Edgar here, and welcome to Artifexy, and here you will learn everything you ever wanted to know about world building, and then some. So, what exactly is a spiral galaxy? To answer that, let's look at one particular spiral galaxy. The Milky Way. Our Milky Way is thought to be a barred spiral galaxy, measuring 100,000 light years across and containing roughly 200 to 400 billion stars. It is about 13.2 million years old, making it almost as old as the universe itself. Spiral galaxies also vary in size, with the largest, NGC 6872, being roughly five times as large as the Milky Way. A typical spiral galaxy consists of a central, supermassive black hole, surrounded by a central bulge region encasing the black hole, and the flat, rotating disk of stars and interstellar matter orbiting around that central region. The spiral arms that give these galaxies their names form in this disk. The bulge itself is a region of densely packed stars extending above and below the galactic disk. The larger the bulge, the more yellow it appears, indicating that very old stars make their home here. The only difference between barred and unbarred spiral galaxies is that in barred galaxies, the central region is elongated forming a very distinctive linear structure. Other than that, both types of galaxies are almost identical. A near spherical halo of stars encases most spiral galaxies, and objects resembling spherical collections of stars live in this halo. These collections are known as globular clusters, and they tend to orbit around the galactic core. Encasing the halo of stars is yet another halo that extends huge distances into the cosmos. This halo is comprised solely of dark matter. It is estimated that 95% of the mass of a galaxy is made up of dark matter. Or put another way, when we look at a galaxy we are only seeing 5% of its total structure. Galaxies are much bigger than is immediately apparent. The distinctive spiral arms that extend out from the central region of the galaxy are not permanent structures. The pattern we see is in fact a density wave. Think of a density wave as a cosmic traffic jam. Free moving cars, or matter in this case, will bunch up at the scene of the jam, but slowly return to normal speed as they pass the obstruction. The result is a moving traffic jam which stays constant but never involves the same cars. As this wave rotates around the galaxy, it interacts with the interstellar medium and triggers star formation, resulting in the creation of nebulae and hot, young OB stars. It is these OB stars that give the spiral arms their bluish colour. The nebulae that dot the arms tend to glow red, and any dark streaks and patches are lanes of gas and dust. Galactic bars are thought to be relatively short-lived and may form as a result of instabilities in the galactic disk or when two galaxies collide. As mentioned before, the central region or bulge hosts the supermassive black hole. A galactic supermassive black hole can have a mass of anywhere between a million and several billion solar masses. A galaxy can either be said to be dormant or active. In an active galaxy, the supermassive black hole at the center regularly gobbles up material and as a result ejects high energy particles into intergalactic space. Depending on the type of emission, these galaxies can be referred to as starburst, quasar, blazar or radio galaxies, amongst others. Let's look at the Hubble tuning fork diagram. Here we see that spiral and barred spiral galaxies come in a variety of different shapes. They are defined based on how loosely the arms are packed and how big the central region is. Finally, I'm going to leave you with some examples of spiral galaxies. Here we see Messier 104, the Sombrero Galaxy. This is the Whirlpool Galaxy or Messier 51. Next up is the Pinwheel Galaxy, or Messier 101. And lastly, our nearest neighbour, Andromeda, or M31. Guys, if you like what you see, you can find me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and more importantly, like and subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Edgar out.